when we have this, it turns out that we give you a lot of ability to see what your students do and use it um, for good, for the benefit in your class. So if I want to look at my student activities, a sample course I have here, when I look at the details, there's a couple different ways I can do this. Now, a lot of times I just scan through. I can see how much they're studying. Here's how many study cards they've done. Okay, they've done some review questions, 86. We try and make it visually appealing. We can show what's going on right here. Oh yeah, they've mastered some of these cards. They feel like they're getting it. Test grades 82, oop, 66. Got to talk to Jones. If I want to talk to Jones, I can click on this email, kick up my email program, and you can email them right from here. Going through, I can scan. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. That's good. But what if I want to know more information on someone? What if I want to go through and see how these people are actually doing individually? So these are their practice tests. All right, they've taken a certain number of exams here, okay, and I can see that they have exam one, two, uh, two, three, four, and five, and we can see that we have some improvement there, but gee, I, maybe the student um, wants to know what they should study. Maybe you want to know what the student should study. So we break it down into the six, comp six components of the National Registry, the five sections, airway, medical, trauma, cardiology, um, and operations. And we also had pediatrics. So if I'm thinking they've been having some trouble with airway, I can tear everything off here and say, whoa, look at they seem to improve. But I wonder, I wonder how they're doing now in cardiology. I'm just going to take a look at cardiology. Well, yeah, maybe I got to do a little bit of work on that. So I can go through and look at how they've done in their diagnostic scoring on all of the exams. So I can look at scores on individual exams that they've taken. I can do the same thing for review and then see how many study cards they've done. So we can give you a lot of information on each user. Right? It's all there to look at study cards here. All right, this person might be a little overconfident and you know, completed 487 cards. Great. Mastered 487 cards. Hmm. All right. I'm not sure about that, but I can go through and I can look at how many cards they've done and how much time they've spent. I mean, literally how much time I can look through and say, you know, gee, Mr. Limmer, I've studied really, really hard. Oh, did you use the app? Yeah, well, let's take a look. And that's often where we find out what's going on. So we can tell you a lot about the uh, user's individual study, each individual person. You can click through and look at everything, look at all the topics, all the things that they've done, and we can watch them and say, okay, looks like they've tried a lot on this one, and that's good. And do the same thing if we want to just be able to look at one particular part. Maybe I want to see if they've got a clue about pathophysiology. And looks like they worked up. They got okay. They took the quiz, got 100% on that date. All right, 76. Yep, so they worked at it. You know, over the month they went through and did that. Good. I can download some of these things. I want to put it into a CSV file and somehow, you know, store these things or add it to records. But what if I wanted to look at my whole class? What if I said, you know, I'm in the operations part now. They're going to be going down to the uh, Pearson View Center before too long and wonder how they're doing in general. So I got those five tests, those five 100 question tests. What I do is I assign one to the class, right? I want you to exam number four. Have it done by this date and if you, whatever grade you get, I'll, I'll replace your lowest quiz grade with. That's one of the ways I try and get students into the app. I used to drop the lowest quiz grade. Now I replace it with something to make them go through and do it and practice, right? So I'm going to go over to the statistics side. Now we can look at the average number of cards people have done, and we can look at their average grades in the review section here, right? Total of 36 questions, there's 100%. Some people not so well, right? See how many times this has been tried among my class in that 46. But what I really want to do is I want to go down to those practice exams. That's the test section here. So I say, I'll just, uh, just pick exam number two, whatever I assign to my students. 78 average overall, okay, almost 80, 79 average, almost 80. It's been tried 17 times. Now, what if I want to know how my class is doing generally, just as a whole? Now, my class averaged 78.8 at Narraway, 84.7 in cardiology, 
76.5 on medical. Here's operations. They did pretty well there. Pediatrics, okay. And trauma, 75. Now I can say, all right, now where should I take my last week or week, two weeks of study and review with my students and focus? So now I can look at the entire class for any one of those sections. You can look at your individual student's performance by grade or by national registry section diagnostic scoring or look at your class as a whole. Now I said I frequently have my students do a test and then I replace their lowest quiz grade with that. But don't forget there's other ways to integrate apps into the classroom. Take a couple questions from the trauma section and review and put them into your quiz. So later you say, you know, if you got number three, uh, 14 and 18 wrong on this little quiz we did, you know, if you use the app, you would have got those right because I took them directly from the app. You know what they're going to do next time? They're going to look at the app. My students this morning before a trauma exam in their AEMT class, um, one of the students projected theirs on the board and went through it. So, I mean, my, all my class has it and um, they went through and used that as a review self-directed, easy, and I think it really works.